I cast your freaking awesome replays. It is Icy Far Wednesdays for me, Tuesday for most of you guys who are watching. Thank you very much for hanging out. And today's topic is surprise, motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Still one of the greatest scenes out of any show ever because of its just instant, instant meme quality. Um, next week's topic, guys, is going to be siege. Is it what, what do I call it? Siege tactics? I think I just called it siege tactics. Let me let me double check the exact name I ended up going with. It was siege warfare. Um, so I'm thinking like some some battle of Elysia, like fucking. I'm talking like building bunkers outside people's base. I'm talking you're, you're building a pylon rush. You got like a pylon mothership core siege outside their base, and disruptors are coming in. I'm talking Nidus worm lurker where you're steadily breaking down their wall and you're taking their third base next to the Nidus Worm at the same time. Weird, siege, slow-pushing, crazy shit. That is what I want you guys to do. Send your replays to me. Information is down in the description below and it is uh, also in Twitch chat when I remember to edit that command, which I'll do after the show. Let's dive straight into map number one, guys, because it is going to be a good one. I forgot to let the scene register beforehand. So let's go into game and number one. All right. And kicking things off, we have a regular favorite of this show down here in the bottom left hand side. It is Duck Minions. Representing Clan V Fam, the Vibe family. Um, let's just hope Vibe is a good dad. He's not one of those CD dads who wants to take a, a bath with his kids. Some shit like that. Fucking, it's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. Vibe's a good dad. Vibe. Vibe would be the kind of dad who like, he's always free to throw a, throw a baseball around with you in the backyard. That's what I know. I know. Like, 35% of my viewers are American, or 40%. So you guys, you guys know how the baseballs work. I have no idea how that sport works. I literally, it's. I'm, I'm guessing it's as much of an enigma to me as cricket is to American people. Either way. It's, uh, it's a good one. So, uh, Minions, playing Terran, is going to be going up against Hannibal from Clan Fires. Risen Fires. I mean, they, got, like, they got like a little Phoenix icon and stuff, you know, like Rise from the Ashes, the Phoenix like rises up and shit. That's a cool, that's a cool clan name and his name's Hannibal. Uh, famous general and also a cannibal from Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal Lecter, so two very cool characters. I finally watched Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, oh, fucking Dark Minions. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, so he double SCV scouted. He confirmed there was no one there. So he's going to take the third base of Hannibal. Now guys, remember, this challenge is surprise, motherfucker. And you need to always attack from two angles at once. So I'm kind of curious... If Minions is going to try and do this thing where a lot of the people who submit replays like to do silly, clever things. And it's my fault for fucking promoting this. Because I'm constantly like, hey, if you guys find a creative way to solve the challenge without actually doing what you would expect, I'm usually going to choose that. Because that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be really funny to actually watch. Um, and while I did skim the replays i actually took this one i accepted it through faith because dark minions ones have been so good in the past so i had no idea what i was actually getting myself into but what the hell i'm guessing wait 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 did that reaper not see no way that reaper didn't see that oh my god and hannibal has no idea and hannibal scouted into the main base and didn't see what was going on oh my god hannibal thinks he's down here in the bottom right he's like oh he must be up here no hannibal <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. He's going to be so confused. It's like, what? W what? Because <laughs> he checked the command center there, but he didn't check down here. He didn't actually come close enough. But now he's spotted that command center. He's going to come back to the Reaper. And here we go. It looks like, okay. I guess if... Oh my god, it's going to be a two-pronged planetary fortress rush. <laughs> Okay, that's that's a two-pronged attack. Surprise, motherfucker. That's exactly what Dark Minions is saying here. Uh, he's going to land a planetary in the natural and one in the main. And they're going to start upgrading right now. Hannibal only has a marine and a reaper. Oh my gosh, you got to pull SCVs right now, buddy. This upgrades really quickly. Oh no, Hannibal's trying to get a cyclone out. Oh, I bet he wishes that was a siege tank right now. A banshee would also be really good here. 
that SCV is being pulled off the line. Dark minions. Oh man, that planetary fortress. Look at it. Look at it poking its little head out. Look at it. It's raising it up little bit by little bit. There's steam coming out. They're loading up the big planetary fortress cannon. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's about to finish. Aha! Run! Run, you crazy fuckers. Oh my god. Okay, Cyclone pops out. It's going to take a few hits before it does go down. Oh no, the SCVs are trapping it. They're trying to repair it, but they're trapping it. Oh, you stupid SCVs. And now everything is going to die. Dark Minions with the double planetary fortress rush here has done massive damage. SCVs have come in as well. Building missile turrets here as well as a barracks. And this planetary fortress is right on top of the production. There's a Viking out, which can't do anything in this scenario. Oh man, Hannibal's going to have to lift away the production and try to rebuild that. Oh, the Marines are just disappearing as soon as they come out. Oh, you know what, guys? After this game, I'm going to turn the physics on. I always forget to turn that on, but I want to try that while I'm casting for once and, and see if it won't lag too bad. That's going to be sick. I want to see more body parts flying while I'm casting these games. This barracks didn't keep on building, and it looks like back at home, Minions is going to be gassing up. Building another barracks back there. And here we go. Another planetary fortress rush coming in on top of this corner of the production. And once again, there's only a single marine and a viking to fight this. The viking should at least land, I think. And uh, maybe do a little bit of damage. As this is, I believe planetary fortresses count as mechanical. Yes, they do. So the viking does do uh, 20 damage a shot versus mechanical. Yeah, it actually does a lot of damage. Wow. Wow! Okay, that one's going to go down. The SCVs have been pulled, but this planetary, it's going to get some um, damage in there. These SCVs are going to try and come and repair, make it last just a few seconds longer. Uh, oh, it does go down. All right, Hannibal, he's managed to hold on to that. He's got his first siege tank about to pop. That's going to be very important. Back at home, Terran building armor on the way. You can tell Dark Minions has thought out this strategy. <laughs> and he's building another command center next to this planetary. Trying to get it in range of this mineral line, but I think this siege tank is going to have something to say about that. Ooh, yeah, these SCVs are kind of getting shot down here. This planetary as well taking a lot of damage. There's only like one SCV down there. It's actually mining from the natural. Oh, you, you D-bag, man. Way to rub salt in the wound, Dark Minions. Uh, missile turrets are getting focused down. These marines have found a nice angle. This SCV is trying to repair, but it can't keep up with the damage that this siege tank is dishing out. And with the second siege tank about to break out, I think Hannibal might be able to overwhelm this, uh, this foothold inside his base. Yeah, lots of marines out there. Cancel that command center. And this one's going to go down. The marines come in as well. It goes down, and it looks like Dark Minion's mad assault has been held for now. But building armor is going to finish up. He's mining down here. Those tanks are going to have to move down and siege him up. Back at home, he does have his own factory down. He's adding an orbital finally. And he's at 29 SCVs to just 12 workers. So with this natural going down, he does have a much bigger economy. These siege tanks here, not quite in range just yet. Yeah, Hannibal has a lot of pressure on him right now. He's got to move forward and get rid of this base. Otherwise, he will end up in big trouble. Here we go. Tanks are going to make their way forward behind this. Three barracks production is up for Hannibal. Uh, I still would have loved to see a Banshee out of him in this kind of low economy situation. But it looks like he's going to break out and reclaim his naturals. His naturals? Did I just turn into one of those people that randomly pluralizes things? Oh my god. <clears throat> for the two Australians who are watching, by the way, don't you guys hate it when people say a Portos rather than a Porto? Holy shit, that drives me up the wall, man. It's like, like, like the one which no one screws up is KFC. Imagine if someone said, do you want to go get some KFCs? Holy shit, that would hurt my brain. I would actually just want to stab somebody. I'd be like, okay, I'm sorry. Like, there's not going to be any remorse while I fucking, like, murder you right now. Because that's just, that's just wrong. I'm, I'm making the world a better place. I'm sorry. You just added a plural for no reason. I can forgive people where it's, like, not their native language. But I'm talking people who grow up speaking English and still are like that. And what the hell, guys? Is that a fu That's a fusion. I'm trying to zoom in on it, but I kind of can't because we're, we're up against the edge of the map. So it's going to be a mech transition from VFAM, but I don't know what the fusion calls for because he's got triple factory. That's, that's kind of confusing. Big counterattack here coming from Hannibal, though. Three tanks, a Viking, a bunch of Marines. Um, and yeah, two Vikings, actually. That's kind of scary. And what do, what do we have for, for minions right now? Um, a Thor. A Thor with a skin. It's got the pointy collector's edition wings. And the first two tanks are just starting. Oh god, oh god. Hannibal. Oh, what a... 
Oh, that's a kind of terrible scan. Uh, if he scanned, like, in the natural, he would have seen there's no units and would know to push, but he's going to push anyway. Hannibal wants to get his revenge on. Remember, Hannibal is at a tiny economy, mining next to no resources, is making marines, stim, and tanks here. Has landed his natural, but hasn't really been building SCVs consistently after all of that early damage. And here we go, the Thor's out here. Oh, God, run. Run, Dark Minions. His SCVs pull in, and the Thor runs away. What the hell? You're a freaking Gundam. You let the SCVs fight your battles? You piece of shit, man. The Dark Minions Thor just backing off like a pansy. Oh, two tanks going to come in here on the high ground. Oh, they're going to get some great hits. Big hits come down. Hannibal's medevac does move up. but it, Oh, it pulls back. It's not providing vision anymore. Hannibal's going to lose some siege tanks here. And that one just barely gets out of there. But did force the lift on the natural. However, there's a third base down. Minions can still uh, drop mules there. Oh, he's even going to go hide that. And a single battlecruiser is on the way. Ah, oh, it's three factory... Tank Thor and Battlecruiser mech. Of course, the standard nine and a half minute single Battlecruiser transition. Uh, Dark Minions uh, loves to copy those Korean builds, timing for timing. Um, loves to follow that meta. Finally, the Gundam comes in and starts actually fighting everything. Does take a couple of decent shots there and then takes a lot of punches to the face. Thor goes down. Oh no. Siege tanks here though. Four minions gonna have the vision advantage. And uh, yeah, Hannibal panicking a little bit there. Probably could have held on to that position and Kept on denying this natural, but the panic was real, unfortunately, now in quite a bit of trouble. Stim is about to finish, and there are two factories building tanks, five marines building at a time. The question is, are zero, zero Stim marines going to be able to beat battlecruisers? Remember, battlecruisers have like three base armor, and a marine only does six damage a shot. So even though they shoot very fast, uh, you will still need a decent number of them to take down battlecruisers, and that can work out pretty well. It is three armor, right? Yeah, not four. Oh, here we go. It's battlecruiser time, boys and girls. He's gonna have to take out the Viking first of all. There we go. He's gonna blast that down pretty quickly. Gonna start to fight these Marines on the edge. One Marine goes down. Oh, forces the stem and backs off. Yeah, I think that's a good idea from that BC. Needs the tanks. Oh, all oh, the tanks siege up. They're gonna get a shot off. They're gonna get a shot off. No, they couldn't quite reach that low ground. I could see that little white marker there, which is the edge of the range. Couldn't quite get it. And a single siege tank does get focused down. Oh god, the BC is too far forward. The stim is good. The marines gonna focus it down. The battle cruiser got a little bit ahead of himself there. But so did that siege tank of Hannibal. And Hannibal takes a bit of damage there. Minions building another BC. Edging these tanks forward. Has to be really careful. I think a stim forward from Hannibal would be very dangerous right now. Minions though, just gonna keep on edging these tanks forward. And what a fearsome army it is. The marines try to get that battle cruiser. They end up taking some terrible shots. And meanwhile, minions has... Secured the corner, secured the natural. And uh, I think it's, yeah, it's actually an even game now or something like this. What the hell is going on right now? Luckily for minions, Hannibal has been so thrown off by the craziness happening here in the early game that he hasn't really be rebuilt a, a good economy. Hannibal's barely mining from the natural, is down for SCV still, but with Stim Medivax, definitely has some potential. Um, Hannibal here looking for the angle if possible. Looking for a drop, actually. Um, 12 Marines and a tank could do a good amount of damage in that main base. And Minions is really screwed in terms of map vision. Can't really press out and contest very far. Nothing in the main base right now. Siege tanks and Thors are popping out, but they're all rallying right to the front. And I think this is going to be a very deadly drop from Hannibal. Let me see, though. Minions scans the front army, sees the medevacs are missing. Does he realize he's going to unsiege and move forward? He's just looking to edge his way forward, and in comes the drop. Hannibal going to jump in here. He says, screw you, Mr. Double Planetary Fortress Rush douchebag. I'm going to fucking jump in your base and kill all your stuff. Hannibal's going to run in, and oh, he's actually letting the command center survive. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. That command center is going to go down, I think. These marines doing a lot of damage. There's nothing here to defend. The very immobile force of Dark Minions. Nowhere near Dark Minions. Oh, he's going for the counterattack. He's like, you're going to take out my economy. I'm going to teleport two battlecruisers into your main base. In the same time, though, Hannibal trying to delay this push on the front. Does a nice siege up there. Ooh, but the Thor's going to come forward. It is going to be able to absorb a lot of tank shots. And it will take out that other tank. Wow, Minions takes control of the Watchtower. His battlecruiser's up there. And he's dropping mules to repair at the same time. 
those mules will be able to repair that red hit point battle cruiser. There they go, getting to work, doing a very nice job. At the same time, though, the main base of minions is taking a lot of damage. He's got to get those three siege tanks up there. They're going to come up. They're going to try and siege up and save the rest of this production. Maybe if they can get in range of that siege tank, they can do a really good job. But for now, they're just going to hang on and make sure they don't get overwhelmed. For now, though, Hannibal, how does he deal with these battle cruisers, he's only got a few marines out. Remember, they don't have any attack upgrades. They don't have combat shields, and they're dying as they pop out. The mules have fully repaired that uh, battle cruiser, and now minions is just looking fantastic. All of the marines have picked up in this drop. They're going to go to the top left, and Hannibal is going to accept a defeat to the double planetary fortress rush opening. He was indeed surprised and very, very confused. So, guys, I'm going to try and turn those physics on. And see if my computer shits itself when I'm streaming when I do that. Because this is something I've always been wanting to do, is actually have the body parts going everywhere. So 